Well, you know what? It has been a while. So, hey guys. Of course, we haven't been filming in a while because we've been busy with work and now we've been stunted by this virus, which, you know, you're not really allowed to go outside, but poo-poo on that. It's been such a long time, I think two weeks in isolation. So we're finally out, but we are facing this problem where we have to stay two meters away from each other, <laughs> which is fine. Like, I'm okay, oh, let's continue on. Which is like, okay, but we need to uh, maintain that good distance. Gotta, gotta stay safe. But look how gorgeous it is outside. Amazing trees, the sun is shining. So we decided to take advantage and we're going to go explore uh, the beaver dam. So later on my explorations, I found a... There's a missing cat. Oh no, there's tons of missing cats here. I wonder if there's like... Oh my god, you're so mean. Anyways, so yeah, we're gonna check out this beaver dam at the beginning of the Bertrand Creek. So I found the beginning of it, or what I believe to be. I, uh, I think at the beginning of the pandemic, I walked for like 11 hours around town, just like searching up and down, uh, oh, car. Searching up and down the highway and stuff. So, so I found the start. It's by a mushroom farm in town, this huge one, and uh, it's actually not too far up from where we clean the creek, which is quite neat. And there's this decent sized beaver dam that's like, I guess, causing this wetland environment where all the water drains into, like off the highway and stuff. So we'll uh, take a secret shortcut, which I'll cut to in a sec. See you guys then. Here it is. So this is the secret path to the mushroom farm. It's pretty cool. It's very long. It just goes on endlessly like spans halfway across town. So let's check it out. So you have? That's pretty cool. Oh, and it's wet. Oh no, that's fine. Holy cow. It's just really incredible to me that this path is here and I've never taken it before until like recently. So let's teleport to the end of it. See you in a bit. Okay, when I said see you in a bit, I didn't expect to be right here. So there's this like truck or truck trailer on the side of the track and there's a little kitty. Let's see if we can see him. It's a black kitty. Where are he at? Where are you? I can't see it on the camera, but I can see it like, there it is. We can actually go in here, which is kind of cool. Oh, I want to pet the kitty. Well, we can go pet it inside. So like there's bits of like old bags. Trash. Is the kitty still there? Yeah. Oh. Ow, my eyes. I'm paying attention to the camera and I got like sticks in my eyeballs. Okay. And yeah, there's a little inlet. All the cat's running. No. You scared it, you're a monster. Wait, actually wait, he's staying. Oh wait, we couldn't have gone anyways. It's like a swamp in there. It's this cool... Get away from me. It's this cool, um, kind of fallout style area where it's got like swampy water with tons of, tons of algae and like these barrels of... They're not toxic goo, they're obviously oil tanks from the old truck that crashed here. But I think it's a very cool, maybe, outpost that could be turned into maybe some kid's secret lair or something, I don't know. He went up, oh. up that embankment. So sad. I know. Rip. Oh, I was gonna do something with my hand. Like this cool chain too. Oh, it's so rusty. Oh, look at all that trash. Oh, the mu value on this thing's crazy. It. Ow. What about this? What's the value of this stuff? Um, probably not that much because it's rusty. No, 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 that. This, there's like chicken wire or whatever. Uh, chicken wire? I'm not sure. Okay, never mind. That is a, um, that is a barrel. That's an actual barrel. That's epic. Oh, that's cool. I hear footsteps. Actually, there's no sign saying no trespassing, so we're fine. There's moss. There's a lot of moss. Ugh. Look at how beautiful these trees are. I think they're um, 
cherry trees or something? Because look at the flowers on them. I have like one in my yard and it looks like that. And it gives cherries. Yeah, this would look so pretty once they like, I guess, fully bloom. And over this hill, it's just endless bramble bushes. It's some like farmer's yard. It's just covered in them. It's crazy. Like they take over so fast. Okay, I wonder if these areas of water are constantly flooded because like it's such a deep part of this field and it would be cool if some sort of fish got into it from like flooding. That'd be amazing. Oh my goodness, you can't walk the dog or play ball or use it at all. Like I'd make some sort of dinosaur park with statues or something, or at least trails to run on. Maybe get a horse or two, something like that. And it's cool that it comes kind of with a built-in pond. I was gonna say, you can use, I can literally bring my kayak here and kayak around. Yeah, imagine kayaking through a field. Like that's crazy. The little dinghy. Kayak on a daily basis around your tiny outdoor pond. Yeah, and you could stock it with like koi and goldfish and stuff. But instead, you're a boat. Imagine attacking boomers, verbally, not, not physically, that's screwed up. Oh, it's so nice. Why does that sound so close? I was kind of confused as to why there was a car on this tiny trail. I'm like, are we about to get run over? There's a poop bag. In the tree. In the tree. I mean, that's happened before. When I was in grade six or seven. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, were you there for that? No, you weren't. Oh, yeah, because we weren't friends. Rip. We were playing manhunt, and Logan found this poop bag, and Noah picked it up with a stick, and he flung it at a tree, and it got caught in the tree. And it was this there's um, big shopping bag full of dog poo. Oh, that's a really cool tree. Holy cow. There's like roots growing into the stump. Nice. And um, he flung it up there and it got stuck. So I think for a year and a half, it was stuck up in the tree. No one removed it. And we always saw it up there, just hanging. It was crazy. And then one day it just disappeared. So maybe the wind or like the branch fell or a bird. I don't know. So it was pretty interesting. Maybe it's a theme. Maybe it's like a common theme. We might see more bags in trees. Who knows? It's an amazing house. I love this entire look neighborhood. Look how deep this extension is. I'm sure there's probably like stickleback or obviously gonna be small marine invertebrates and lampreys in here. But like, look, that's crazy. And I think it's draining from uh, that field we were looking at, which is probably how a lot of marine stuff or aquatic stuff get into that field. And like, look how fast it's flowing. This is flowing better than the creek flows, and it's an irrigation it's a ditch. ditch. <laughs> Full of canary grass. Okay. Oh, why does it look so nice though? Like, I want to swim in it. Right? Oh. To be fair, I just want to swim in it. Me too. It's been so long. Wait. Get me on. I'm getting this one on camera first. You're not gonna keep it, are you? Oh, no. no. Don't worry, I'll put it back. There's a garter snake. We found two of them. This one's a massive one. It's like the length of my forearm or even longer. Really beautiful. I didn't see it at first. I saw that one at first. It was like resting on this to heat up this piece of metal. And look how cute it is. There's tons of these guys all over town, especially in these areas where it's like a ditch and along uh, trails with gravel, especially when it gets hot out. They love basking on stuff like that. Now a while ago, like last year, I was walking around here with the guys and we were turning these things over to look for them. There might be more, oh, nope, there's just wires. But yeah, they're very cool, they nest inside there. There's probably a lot more inside the woods back there, but I think there's some homeless people who camp out sometimes inside. Still got it? It's yeah. adorable. Here, I'll get some like photos with my camera. What is this little bridge? Oh god, I hope no one pops out to this little place in here. I know. And then there's a bike and like a hidden, I guess, blanket. I wonder what's underneath that. It's not a blanket, it's like plastic or a tarp. You're backing out. <laughs>
There's a BC Science book. I've never seen our school use this. Student work sheet. Is this from like the 1980s or 1990s? Holy crap. Dude, there's a periodic table in there. It's, it's literally a full, it's a full workbook, but like our school doesn't use those. That's so bizarre. There's a brick. And there's a pile of gloves. Just latex gloves. Like, what? Why are they all under a tarp? Who's hiding? Is this like a stockpile for the apocalypse? There's just bags and bags of, ew, and there's a dirty mattress. Oh, that's so gross. It's soggy. It's like half in the water. Grab it a stick and take the garbage bag off the floor. You want to see what's underneath? <laughs> oh god, there's another brick. Yeah, I should probably show this part. Nope, there's just more trash bags and more gloves. Why is this trash bag so large? I just realized this is like one big trash bag. And it's huge. There's also another color of gloves in there. That's so weird. That's like gonna be on the top 10 weirdest list right there. <laughs> like who just has a bunch of gloves? Like they've all been used. More than half of them were turned inside out, which is like a clear sign that they've been like put on and then taken off. And they're just underneath this massive garbage bag. Like what, why? I can't fathom what happened there. I kind of don't want to know actually now that I think of it because it's in the woods by a mattress. Yeah, but gloves can have many uses. Monkey puzzle tree. Huge scaly tree. It's a monkey puzzle tree. Have you never? Monkey puzzle. Monkey puzzle. No development on air land. Our bird trend is. Ala. <laughs> I gotta cut that out. <laughs> Actually, no. What? Oh god, oh no. This is where I played tag once. Oh, it's so muddy. I'm not stepping in that. Even though I wore my dirty shoes. I wanna be honest though, I wear these shoes all the time. They have a hole in both fronts of the toe because my big nail always sticks up. Why am I saying this? It doesn't stick up, sorry, my, my big toe just sticks up. Are you on video? Yeah. Are you gonna keep that in? So I can edit whatever I want. I'm probably gonna keep it in because I'm lazy. Hey, it's an extra minute of me talking, which is good. And plus we're out in nature exploring. Our video, video, no, our viewers don't mind. No one people want viewers. We have like 11. All right, left or right? Ooh, um, right. I feel like right goes further because left kind of has a bend. I love how there's no grass. It's like, well, there's still, um, flipping blackberry bushes, brambles, but it's still very, uh, scenic. Right has essentially ended. Right. Because it ends up there. Okay, then let's go left. All right. <laughs> There's a lot of trees that fallen over recently. I wonder if it's from like a windstorm or something. Ow. There's still trash, no matter where you go. I saw broken glasses, a plastic bottle, fecal matter, probably from a dog actually. Some interesting looking varieties of tree. Feels like a lot have been dumped here, like people in the area after Christmas, dump their Christmas tree here. Which is, uh, I guess kinda sad, but it might add to the environment. I'm not sure about like stuff rotting and whatnot. I guess it kind of provides shelter for animals and stuff. And there's already a lot of, uh, a lot of these trees, piney boys. Oh, look at the moss, look at the mushrooms. Dude, that's so cool. <gasps> Dude, that's, um, what fern is that? Oh, it might Deer be. Fern? No, it's 
Oh, su no, it might be sweet fern, but also sweet fern isn't a fern. It's a, uh, it's like a small bush. Oh, that's a good photo. Awesome. I could get it identified on iNaturalist, which I mentioned in my last video. So if you haven't watched that, check it out. It's about five minutes long. Oh, that's a beautiful flower, that white one. No. Okay, we're going to take some photos. We'll be right back. Wait, wait, stay right there, stay right there. Oh, it's recording now. Okay, yeah, assorted strings and ropes of different colors and sizes and like they're plastic and also not. That's so weird. It's like something out of the suicide forest in Japan, but not. Uh. And then there's a wet towel blanket on that thing. Gotta love that. There's tons of diversity. Oh, and that's the field. That's where the, the, um, dam is that's where it starts oh I can't wait it's gonna be exciting so we got to this little campfire area and there's a slinky growing in a tree that's cool that we have slinkies native here there's a bunch of canteens and crap broken on the ground and a fire pit with logs around it which is like a very somewhat common thing here in town like in every woods there's a fire pit and logs but this one's pretty big can we even cross here? Keep our fingers crossed. It's a lot of bottle caps and single use plastic. There's Halo packaging. These are like Halo minifigures. <laughs> what? Ew, and some slimy bottle of water. Bottle of water, body of water with like spray cans and stuff in it. It's always fun. So now we're gonna cross this log and hopefully get to the other side if we're not interrupted by, you know, the creek existing. The log is a little slippery, so I'm just gonna knock. Wow, a penis and a swastika. Very and charming. And this says die. What's below the penis? Die. E-N. This like sums up one category or class in our town. The people. <laughs> wow, nice. Yeehaw. And we are here. So, in earlier videos. Yes. We were here before. Actually, no, let's cross our fingers. I feel like they might not be. There's such a big chain. I know, I'm so parched. Not parched enough, though, to drink from the Bertrand but like parched enough to want to. And look, you can see sand. This is the one stretch where it's slightly not polluted because it's kind of past residential areas slightly. So you'll see, oh, nope, there's a shoe in there. You'll see like the gravel and sand and it looks kind of nice. Still dirty water though. Oh, look at that two-edged starwort. That's so big and green, that's weird. Okay. No, let's 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 go to the start, the real start. It looks like there's like one person here today, but there's never not a person here with a dog. There's always someone with a dog in this field, which is pretty cool, because then you never feel alone in case like I don't know a bear or beaver attacks you. Oh yeah, we might see beavers because there's like recent activity, like tons of recent activity up here, and it's not really a big place. So like there's a high chance we'll get some on film. Fingers crossed. That's why it takes so long for them to make it. Yeah, because they got to go skim it off the surface of the creek and put it in the ice cap. Oh, that's so nasty. So that's like from all the farm farmer's fields, because you'll see soon, it like literally is runoff from the farm fields. I mean, you could. We could kayak. God, that'd be so much fun. We'd get like a few feet. No, no, no. Once you see what the beavers have done, you can kayak in what the beavers have done. Like, it's crazy. They've made this huge body of water that you can actually put a boat in. Like a full-on boat with a motor. Why are there nails in this hunk of wood? Good point. <laughs> yes. I mean, I feel like I could go fishing here if there was fish. I mean, if there was any fish, they would only get up to this point. So this might be a good place to look because it's deep. Like this is the, 
it's supposed to be the depth of the creek all year round, but it's not lower down, obviously. It's such a nice, healthier area. Yeah, and it's good. You could set up like little chairs and sit here. Brendan, you could swim in this. If it was clean. I mean, no one's stopping you from swimming in it now. It's cold. I don't want to swim in it now. But I kind of do at the same time. But look, there's bubbles. Ah. It is so nice. And look, the bottom's clay, so it's like good on your feet. And we could kayak here. We could put a little, like, um, an inflatable dinghy and sit, like Sorry, a lazy really river. Go Me too. Like, I'd love to go to Lightning Lakes or something and kayak. That'd be amazing. What's that green sparkly thing? Is that a dead fish? It's a dead fish. I'm going in for it. it. It's right there. It looks like some kids. No, it's trash. Bro. Damn, that's a big rip. I'm currently standing on a huge or decently sized beaver house. There's the dam. And that's a creek. So that over there is where we clean it. It runs down to this. This is the beaver dam. The water is getting past. And this is the huge body of water that they've accumulated now behind it. So this is the start of the Bertrand. It continues on down there into the woods where a runoff from the farm fields and where we were walking before come down, as well as it continues over there to those fields where more water gets accumulated. So this whole expanse of area is essentially where the creek starts and where it gets all its water from the highway, from the fields, and uh, over in those backwoods too. So this is the start of the Bertrand Creek. Now, um, native fish, and fish in general, can't get past this dam, so I'm not sure if there's any in this body of water. There might be a chance that they are, but um, judging by the sediment that's built up on this dam, like there's a lot of sand and silt all the way up there, it's been here for a while. Um, now, I found a dead beaver over further down in the creek, and there's a lot of recent activity in that area. So there's probably a few live ones still active in this area that we might find. So we'll continue on exploring. And uh, yeah, this is a really cool aspect of our town that we have this beaver dam right here in this like dog walking area and dirt biking place. So yeah, I'll get another angle of the dam one sec. So this is the dam, or not the dam, the den, the house of the beaver. There's probably an entrance underwater. The water gets really deep in this section and uh, it's weird that there's a path, a walking path all the way up to, to the um, beaver dam. But you can see there's like, there's gnaw marks and stuff. This wasn't man-made or natural made, though a lot of the debris looks to be swept onto it, adding on. But yeah, it's last time I came, there was a lot less water. It must have rained recently and caused a bit of flooding. Yeah, we'll continue on and check out the fields now. But yeah, very deep water. <laughs> this one's a lot heavier than the last. No, no, no. Give me, give me that. Ew, no. Distancing. You suck. My org. Okay, update time, guys. Remember in our first video, the pile of cardboard that was in this area? Well, this is it now. It's a soggy pile of half dirt, half cardboard. There's also wood in the pile. Oh, nice. And it's very soggy. Yeah, it's okay. That's amazing. This is like, I can't believe it's even still here. There must be a lot of worms and stuff in there. Oh, and there's the wood. 
that's fresh, that's new. But yeah, this is like decomposition at its finest. I mean, wait, is that even the right word? Decomposing, decomposition. I think they use that in math too. I sound so dumb. I'm sorry, I'm an actual intellectual, guys, don't worry. Okay, that was just a quick update. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This is probably the end of the video. And we'll see you next time. Bye bye. You gotta zoom out. 57 house for sale. 57 house. Spot the dog poo. Do, 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 do. Oh, there it is. It blends in with all these little pellets sucked out of the ground. That is amazing. Camouflage. <laughs> Dog poo is evolving. <laughs> it's harder to spot more than ever these days. Watch out. You can't run faster than 30 kilometers an hour with balls. <laughs> that poor kid. You're running too fast, bro. You gotta slow down. Or s speed up, I guess? Is that fast or slow for a person running? Can you even run 30 kilometers an hour? Yeah. Why do you keep dropping that? One time Sarah ran like 36 kilometers an hour. Did you know Sarah in Latin means Did you horn? Know? <laughs> your last name or your middle name is... Next! Quick addition to the video. This pole has so many nails and staples in it. That's crazy. I bet you some of these are so old. They're probably like when the town first started. That is crazy cool. Also garage sale. If you watch this video and live in town, there's like a garage sale. So free advertisement. Okay, we were walking by this house and complex and there's this tube and it's making gurgling noises. And like every so often it'll like tack up some water. That doesn't sound okay. This is like an air air ventilation shaft. Do you, I wonder if it's got corona? Cause like water in the lungs is part of corona or something. Wet lung. Here, let's let's get really close. ASMR time, guys. Just close your eyes and listen to the wet. It stopped gurgling. Hello? You see anything? <laughs> it's just braze water. I was waiting for that. What's in there, guys? I can't see. Warm air. The air is warm. It's warm air water. It was gross. Bye-bye, gross pipe. See? Weird stuff. That, I'm armed. Oh, yeah. Coronavirus can't get me. Nope. Can't even. Look at you. You've got... The last of the Purell. There's no more Purell in the lower mainland. Every flipping Dollarama and Walmart's out of it. Wait, is the creek, does it go down there? No, I think it's a different It's like runoff and stuff on the other side of that. Wait, why am I still filming? I ended the video like an hour ago. <laughs> okay guys, this is gonna probably be like in the middle of the video, but we're filming this after we ended it. Just so you guys know to fill you in on What's that say? Fedora. Phenomenon. What did you read? I can. I'm so good. Okay, I'm ending. Oh no. Okay, I'll just I'll just hit the end button. I, I need to stop talking. Wait. Beer. Oh yeah, let's drink in front of Willow Creek Estates. Watch out, I'm you're on ending. camera. And also I'm not going to end. <laughs> you know what, yeah. Okay, um this is probably gonna segue into something. I'll just make it work. Yep. I don't know how to end this, so... Uh, transition! Woo! Okay, guys. So we found this little... This, this little tag, like, on the side of this thing. And it's like a game. Munzee. Okay, read it. So you gotta download the Munzee app, scan the barcode on the other side to gain points and level up. So here's the barcode. Yeah, guys. So if, if you download Munzee at www. 
Munzee.com, you can play this game too. And then you create and deploy your own Munzee to grow the map. And this is from Daisy Girl. Are you sure it's not Disney? Dis oh, Disney Girl. <laughs> Sorry, I can't read. So this is official game piece. Do not remove from th this post. fence post. <laughs> is that what it says? No, no, oh. it doesn't. So is this like a, a 3D world game where you put these all over town or something? I don't understand. If someone actually researches this and puts it in the comments or something, just, just yeah, do that. Thank you, Munzee. Look it up. I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm not. I'm honestly not. <laughs>